Hey guys, welcome to Cutesy Drawings. Today I'll be drawing Cappy from Poppy Playtime. I'll be drawing on my tablet, but you can also follow along on paper, and please remember to like and subscribe. Okay, now let's get started. Okay, I'm going to first start off by drawing some guidelines to help me with the head. You can choose to draw these, or you can skip this part. So first, I'm going to draw a curved line on a diagonal like this. And then another line across. This will help me get the placement of the head since the head's on an angle. Okay, let's first start off by drawing the nose with a triangle shape in the center here. Next above it, let's add a curve. And then from the ends, let's curve it back underneath the nose. Then underneath, let's add a curve for the mouth. And let's color this small section in black. And then one more curve below it. And lastly for the mouth, let's add the whiskers with curves on either side like this. Now that we're done the mouth, let's add the eyes next. Let's start with the right side. Above the nose here, let's draw a curve up and back down. And then a curve below it to close off the shape of the eye. Next inside, let's add a large oval for the pupil. And now one more oval inside on the top right. And now let's color the pupil in black. And lastly for the eye, let's add two eyelashes on the outside here. Now let's draw the left eye in the same way, but a little bit bigger. And then next, let's add two eyebrows above the eyes with curves. Okay, now let's draw the shape of the head. Let's start with a large U shape underneath like this. Next, on either end, let's draw a curved piece of fur like this. Next, let's hop up and draw the top of the head. Let's draw a curve here above the eyebrows. Now in the gap on either side, let's draw the ears. Let's start with the left one by drawing a large curve up and back down. And the same thing on the right. Next, let's draw the inside of the ears. Inside each one, let's draw a curve like this. And then at the bottom, two small bumps. Now on the left ear, let's draw a curve down and back in. And on the right, just one curve down here. And lastly, for the head, let's draw the pattern inside. Let's draw two curved V-shapes at the top of the head.
and now curves on the cheeks. Let's bring it out and back in. And the same on the other side. And that's it for the head. Let's add the antennas on top now. Let's start above the left ear and we're going to draw a curve over to the right, bringing it down and then back in. And the same thing above the head here. And that's it for the head. We can erase the red guidelines now. Now let's draw the body starting with the right arm. Underneath the right side of the head, let's draw a curve up and back down. Now let's draw the paw. Let's start with the curve underneath here like this. And then a curve down for the other side. And then close it off at the bottom with the curve. And then inside at the bottom, let's draw two small curves for the fingers. Let's draw the rest of the arm now. On the right, let's draw a curve over and then down. And then a curve underneath. Now let's add the stripe pattern on the arm. On the top of the arm, let's draw a small curve here, and then a large curve across the bottom section. Next, let's draw the fur under the head. Let's start on the left here, and we're going to draw a curve down and back in. And then we're going to do four more all the way back down to the hand. And now let's finish off the right side between the hand and the head here. Next, let's draw the belly. Let's start under the fur and we're going to draw a curve down and to the right, stopping here under the hand. Now from the left side, let's draw a curve down for the leg. Next, let's add the foot. Let's start below and we're going to curve it up to the leg, over and back around like this. And then from the bottom, we're going to curve it up and over. Now let's hop up and draw the top side of the right leg. Let's start next to the arm and we're going to draw an S curve over like this. Now in that gap, let's draw the shape of the foot with an oval. Next, let's add the details on the feet. On the left foot, let's draw a curve across the bottom like this. And then above it, two curves for the toes. Now let's add the pads on the bottom of the feet. Let's draw an oval here, another one on the right, and then half an oval on the left side. And then underneath, we're going to draw half a heart like this. Now let's hop over to the right foot and draw three circles at the top. and then a heart shape underneath. And lastly for the body, let's add some stripes. Let's add two curves on the right leg. Now let's move over to the left leg. Let's add a small curve at the top here, and then two stripes on the bottom behind the belly. Okay, now let's draw the other hand on the left side. Let's move over to the left and we're going to draw a small line down. 
Then underneath, let's draw a backwards C curve. Next, let's add the paw at the end with an oval shape. And then two small curves inside for the fingers. Next, let's add the stripes on the arm. Let's draw a curve down the center of the section. And then one small curve on the upper arm here. Next, let's add the wings. Let's start with the left side. On the top left, next to the fur, let's draw a curve up here. Now let's bring it over to the left and back in. And then one curve inside at the bottom. And now let's do the same thing for the right wing. And now let's add the tail on the right side. Above the right leg, let's draw a curve up, bringing it around and back down. And then inside, let's add four curves for the stripes. And that's it for Cappy. Now let's quickly color it in. And done. Hope you enjoyed drawing along with me. And please remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.